Hey guys, welcome back to another installment of Training Point of View. I am Timothy Ali. So I checked out The Mummy today and it was a noble attempt at kickstarting the monster universe of Universal. But you know what? It missed the mark by a length and a half. The movie felt disjointed and disconnected throughout. Throughout the first act, second act and the climax, which is the third act, everything felt like it was three different movies and it was just too disjointed to actually have that proper flow. Tom Cruise no doubt is a shining sign whatever role he's casting, but in The Mummy, he kind of plays, you know, the hero who just happens to not be a hero, he's just a guy who's in the right place at the wrong time. Even though I'm not buying into this new monster universe with a first installment, I can definitely say going forward, Tom Cruise is not going to be one of their downfalls. Sophia Boutella as Princess Aminette, I didn't buy into her being a villainous mummy, she was kind of just okay in the role. Strangely enough, she was kind of hotter as a mummy, even though like a kind of degrading mummy, than she was actually in the flashbacks of when she was the Princess Aminette herself. Strange, right? Annabelle Wallace as Jenny, who plays the love interest in the movie, she was a bit all over the shop if you ask me. Now, she starts off as being a smart archaeologist, who you would think, well, you know, she's going to be a strong character, but by the end of the movie, she was just 100% a damsel in distress, which I kind of, you know, I started off, you know, like you're the smart archaeologist and you just casually just went into the damsel in distress mode, which was a little bit annoying. Russell Crowe in this movie. Now, cue the spoiler, cue the big spoiler. <laughs> Russell Green in this movie actually plays Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which I really don't think this movie needed as yet because we should have focused on the mummy in this universe. And I think we could have held on to him for later on in the movie, but I guess Universal wanted to jumpstart this thing with so many Easter eggs and so many characters that they threw it in there, but I really don't think the movie needed it as yet. Why does every movie need an annoying comedic relief who's more annoying than comedic? Jake Johnson started off the movie as a main supporting role alongside Tom Cruise's character Nick. He died early on but he's somehow a medium between Princess Aminette and Tom Cruise's character. The odd part is he showed up in the first act you know probably for like about 15-20 minutes and then it was like kaput he was just totally gone until the third act where he just magically appeared again and I could sense and I could smell that he did. this is a studio actually cutting up the movie and they chose to get rid of his past to keep it down to like two hours and a couple minutes. Overall the mummy isn't the best first installment we all wanted for Universal's monster universe but you know what it did a good job at opening up the universe to a lot more when it comes to easter eggs and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde even a vampire story we're going to see all of that coming in the future and this movie if it's one thing it's not the best but but you know what, it did a good job at opening up the universe so that we all know that yes, this is the Universal is serious about moving forward with this dark universe. I'm giving the mummy a 6 out of 10 because I'm really looking forward to what they have installed in the future, especially with Tom Cruise and Russell Crowe at the helm of this universe. But I was left unfulfilled so far. Alright guys, thanks for checking out another installment at Trinity Point of View. Remember to hit me that thumbs up, comment down below on your thoughts on the mummy and this new dark universe that Universal has launched. Hit that notification bell down at the bottom so you get notifications anytime I post new videos and as usual, see you again.